Contextos is a pretty cool like nonprofit organization. I can go on for days about this, yeah. <laughs> I think the first, like one of the first shows I ever seen or earliest remember it was Stevie Wonder at my church and that was really cool. Stevie Wonder came to my church and sang uh, Falling in Love with Jesus and it was crazy. And I was like, whoa, this is wild. So that was pretty cool. I think that's the moment I was like, whoa. I think um, Erica, Erica Badu's Mama's Gun was the album that I thought was really, really like, like, like one, like incredible album. And I think at the time they were just marketing <laughs> black artists as like, you know, in like urban markets and they weren't marketing, they weren't giving them marketing budgets for like, like to like break into like pop. So I feel like that album never really popped like it should have, just like Voodoo and like other albums, but that album's amazing. It's just a book called Trouble Don't Last. And I remember reading it when I was like in fifth grade. Um, and it was, it's about, it's this like slave book. And it's about this boy who's a slave and his mother has ran away. So he f always feels like his mother left him alone or something like that. And um, this old guy is always watching over him. And one day the old guy decides to run away and the boy runs to find the old guy to like kind of bring him back. And I think it's about like, they go like through the Underground Railroad and throughout the book, I think he finds out the old guy is actually like his grandfather. And then his, the old guy came back to raise him because he was crying when they were running away before with his mother. And the old guy never told him that he was his grandfather so that they never got too close because they used to separate slaves. This is all like in fifth grade. So um, I think, I think like growing up black um, in America, you don't really, you don't really get taught like slavery, like real, like real deal slavery kind of in school. Uh, and I think that was kind of one of the first things that kind of was like, made me realize I was one, like super duper into history and super duper into like history that like had to deal with me. So, and I think like now, I think if people hear my music, they can see it's full of stuff like that and joy and all that. So, and, and the lyrics. So yeah, I think I specifically remember that book being the book that moved me. Well, I used to be an organizer uh, when I was like when I was like younger. Um, I was an organizer, and before that, uh, how I really kind of got it, like even got into music, was because I went I went to like I was a fellow at this like nonprofit called Chicago Freedom School, and it's right down the street from like uh, George Wa George Washington uh, Harold Washington Library, and I would have to cross uh, through this like this like this this corner that has U Media on it all the time. U Media is the section where it's like where the youth can go there and like they do arts and stuff in the Harold Washington Library downtown on State Street. And one time I was walking across and I saw all these kids in there surrounding another kid on the mic. And it was an open mic and I kind of got into the open mic scene randomly just stumbling into that. And that kind of the thing that kind of brought me into music. So yeah, and then I worked at the free, came back and worked at the Freedom School when I was younger for like a couple of years. And then through that, I became like an organizer as I got older. So there's a there's a bunch of organizations I can name, but like, you know, uh, yeah, shout out to, I don't know, UIP 100, Chicago Votes, um, Contextos is a pretty cool like nonprofit organization. I can go on for days about this, yeah. <laughs> I think when people think of community, I don't know, it gets weird when people are like, oh, well, I'm gonna go out and community build instead of just like, I'm just gonna go out and be part of the community. Cause I think that's just like, I think that in, in itself is like what builds the community. And I feel like when people are thinking about building like this idea of like, let's build a community. It means that there's already something not there, you know what I mean? Or something that needs to be fixed or built up and the community's already there. You just need to just give it a little love and like notice it and say hi to people and be kind, you know what I mean? And be in it <laughs> instead of thinking, I'm gonna come from the outside into this community and build it.